Right, well, it wouldn't be a British festival if it wasn't raining. We just recently, about half an hour ago, arrived at the festival number six park and ride, uh, Port Maddow Rugby Club, I think. Um, it's gotten pretty dim outside, it was quite sunny when we set off. I did mean to do a video, but I forgot, basically. Uh, so we've arrived, parked up, got all the stuff packed up eventually in the rain, with a poncho that wasn't really doing much. <laughs> kind of noisy on the bus, so forgive me if the audio is a bit weird. Um, but we picked up our programs. Spin around. Our programs, which are immensely useful. Uh, map and everything, probably have a little bit closer look at that at another point. Um, just on our way in now, there are some bands on tonight. Whether we'll go see them or not, I'm not sure. Depends how tired we are by the time we get to the camp and eat and stuff like that. Um, but the rain looks like it was easing up when we eventually got on the bus, but it did rain on us a bit, hence the hair. Um, but now that we're on the bus and not dealing with the rain too much and we're all packed up, getting even more excited. So, it um, should be about a 50 minute drive if it's the same as last time. And then we'll be there and we'll probably have a bit more of an update once we're at the camp. It's day one, Friday, just past 7 o'clock. I'm actually running a little bit late. Uh, I've been walking for about 20 minutes or so to get down into the Port Myron village. Uh, you'll see a lot more of that in the other videos and other photos. I'm just on the way to yoga. I am running a little bit late. Okay, so I'm just on my way back from yoga now. It's now probably about half past eight, it's quarter to nine, and thereabouts. Pretty early start, <laughs> considering we were in bed by about twelve. But I figure the first day is going to be the best day to do it, because after the amount of walking and jumping around that we've got planned this weekend, I'm probably not going to fancy waking up at six again tomorrow. So I figured I'd give it one more go, and it was pretty good. I uh, did enjoy it. Um, nice and relaxing, we feel nice and limber now. But probably not going to come back again tomorrow. I do value my sleep a bit more than doing it again. Uh, they didn't have any yoga mats. They said they ordered some, but they didn't arrive in time, so it's mostly standing, down facing dog, that sort of stuff. Muddy hands, can't really see it. It wasn't that muddy. Um, the place hadn't really been stomped to pieces just yet. But uh, I hope I'm going the right way. I have a bad feeling I might not be, but uh, I think I think I recognise it. Um, <laughs> actually, no, this doesn't look too familiar, but a ah, bit of an adventure. Um, I've had a bit of breakfast, but I'm still a bit hungry, so I'm probably just going to snack on some things at the back of the tent, where I imagine Charlie is still asleep. <laughs> it was fun, but I am feeling a little bit tired, which you probably shouldn't be feeling at about half past eight on this morning of a festival. But here we go, it's an experience, and I did get some nice photos of the ash tree at uh, such an early time in the morning. So I have to try and find my way back to my tent, and this is not the way I came in, but I'm hoping that it's not too far away from where I should be. Uh, Okay, quick update. Turns out I wasn't actually too far. Uh, the camping village is just there. I was basically the other side of those trees. It felt like a lot further, but geographically I know I couldn't have been too far. Just thankfully I found a bit of a service access to nip through. Uh, so, I should be back at the tent in just a couple of minutes. Back in time for a coffee, which is desperately needed. Okay, so Charlie's just gone for a shower in the blocks behind me, you can see there, actually not those ones, a little bit further up. Um, I have got myself a coffee, well, actually, they, uh, they've, it's quite cool where we are, um, we've got pre-erected tents, all these here, we didn't have to put one up ourselves, which was good, because we arrived in the rain in the dark, which wouldn't have been fun, but they've actually got a tent with hot water, coffee, tea, and hot chocolate, so I made myself a morning mocha, and it's not the best coffee in the world, but some coffee, better than no coffee, and it's free. School. I did bring some though, so I might take my own coffee next time I go.
33 million. The UK government spending is nothing short of a farce. You can take your self-assessment form and stick it up your ass. Cheers. <laughs>
so we just saw we just saw Tibet at the village hall stage um, in the village green, which is where we are right now. A um, bit more of a towny area of the festival, not really an arena per se. Um, you can see sort of behind us, that's a bar, that's a bit of a sitting area. Those are all food stores, produce stores. And if I keep spinning, keep spinning, keep spinning, keep spinning, keep spinning, just there is the stage where we saw Tibet. And towards the end of the set, someone tapped us on the shoulder and said, Hi, would you mind saying a few words about the band afterwards? Sure. Uh, Horizons Cymru, I'm saying that so I remember it, because they were going to give us a flyer, but they didn't have any. Um, so Horizons Cymru interviewed us, we had about a minute or so each just to chat about the band. Charlie, seen them before? Yeah, you I saw, saw them? them in Swaylek. Okay, you, yeah, Sporting Kaiser Chips, isn't Sporting it? Sporting Who we are going to be watching, not next, but the band after. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, because I really enjoyed Kaiser Chips. I've never seen them live, um, and I've liked them for about... Seven or eight years now since yeah. this album came out. Maybe they're a bit longer, fun. actually. Yeah, um, I'm told they're good live, and Tibet certainly were good live. So, if that's that's uh, probably reliable then. Um, but yeah, so Horizons Cymru. I'm remembering that, so I can look them up. I'll probably put a link in the video below if it's good. If it's not, or if I forget, then there won't be a link. <laughs> I'm useless sometimes. What can I say? Um, but yeah, last night this area was all. Um, most of these huts were actually closed, but now all of them seem to be open, bar the ones that sold out yesterday. Um, but there were queues everywhere for food, it seemed like everyone was hungry. Um, so we are going to be looking for some food now, and then going back into the main arena for the rest of the month. Well, lamb wraps. I'm to get a lamb wrap. Lamb wraps it is, apparently. <laughs> Alright, we're just walking back towards the main arena now, going to look for some food. Um, we were just saying, last year there was a big kind of gate over the top. I'll try and dig up a photo from last year. I've got plenty of photos from last year. I'm sure I've got the gate in one of them. Um, but it looked really pretty. Um, but this year, it looks a bit okay, dull. Okay, so as I tried to show you that, um, you may notice a bit of a jump in the video. Hello, friend. Um, yeah, you'll probably notice a bit of a jump in the video because I pressed the power button and that stops it recording. So, without pressing the button, without pressing the button this time, that's what the entrance looks like now. Which, whilst being a little bit more open, you can see the main stage from the entrance, which you couldn't do last year. Eh, it looked a bit more ornate. I missed the game. Yeah. They look like the village. Yeah. Um, we'll try and get a photo or a video of the village entrance later on. But yeah, it was really pretty. Um, I'll, I'll, like I say, I'll put some photos. I think I might even have a video of it. So we'll see what we can find. So here's the thing, I understand this is quite a cool festival. Cool people come here. But I also understand that this is going to be a lot of people's first festivals.
Cakes, healthy the sun. So will you stop? You don't hear our two complaining, do you? <laughs> yes, I do. He just said it's like a pigsty. Hey, what's going on?
increíble. Qué increíble. Qué increíble. Qué increíble. Seeing you.